computer system can be any device that using a computer inside of it and then has a uh, physical and a software component to it that are working together right so that would be basically a computer system now we have spoke about these four words uh, since we've started the, since we've started looking at in, introduction to information technology and we just now want to give a definition of what they are and these four words are input process output and storage the acronym ipos now you're going to see these words over and over again as you go forward in information technology they are key parts or key components in the, this area so let's look at input first input is basically entering data or information into your computer so when you put in data um, into your computer system whether it's by pressing some pressing something using the mouse or pressing something using a touch screen on a phone or typing in a letter that's basically input you're putting in or entering something into your computer system then we have processing processing can be thought of changing converting translating um, input into output so for example when you're using a keyboard to type something up on your computer system when you press that key on the keyboard right that would be considered input now something happens inside the computer system that then gives you an output which is the letter being represented on a monitor right so then now we go into what is output and as we just said output is basically giving a result from your input so it can be as simple as pressing a key on a keyboard it can be as simple as you pressing uh, trying to open an app on your computer system by pressing it um sorry not on your computer system but on your cell phone by um, pressing it on the screen and then it opens right so any result that you get from your computer system would be your output and finally we have storage so st storage is actually holding or saving information for future use right now storage as we go further is not just the act of you saving something but storage is also the computer going and getting something for you to use right and we'll look at that in a minute but i just want to reiterate what storage is saving or holding information for future use this is an action you have to perform. You have to physically go and save your information. 